everybody, Game Master 13 here, and welcome back to, to the LEGO and the Agents 2, the Adventure Continues walkthrough, 100%. <sighs> I should have said in the reverse order, 100% walkthrough. <laughs> Mental note for later. So, the first um, treasure mode level that we have to tackle is Toasty Taverns, but we cannot tackle it yet because we do not have the required characters. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get said required characters, and honestly, we've already unlocked one of them, we, only, we just need one more, and in order to get... In order to unlock him, we need to complete the event, the Jeep race, which is right here. That's the Jeep right there. Unfortunately, we don't have, it's, it's kind of stuck in the ground. So, I'm going to go over there and grab Sala really quickly. Sala, hey friend, I'm going to need your shovel, thank you very much. So, now that we have Sala's shovel on hand, we can dig this jeep out of the sand and if my notes are correct that means that half of 30,000 being 15,000 is how much this is for yep <sighs> my notes you fail me once again all right so this is the start of the jeep race right here head through it through the camel corral follow the studs through the northwest corner of the map through cairo and then across the bridge over to Nepal, sorry, Indy had to run run you over right there. Then move southwest along the side of the map, and then right through the finish line. As you notice there, I took extra care not to run into any of these trees, because these trees are actually one of the colored bricks. And I don't want to interfere with any of these colored bricks until I actually do the video, so that I don't have to go back and use stock footage. So anyway, this is the Bazooka Trooper, everyone's favorite character from the original game, because then you can just blow stuff up. Purchase him for 15,000 studs, Take control of him as your sidekick, and then blast into Toasty Tavern to begin the first treasure mode level of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Alright, so we're in here now. So what you want to do first is take control of the mask bandit and throw his sword at the rope that's holding up an anvil. When it falls, it'll release in pieces. Assemble these pieces into a table, and then once you've assembled the table... You want to walk across this table to reach the other side of the room. Or other side of the flames, I should say. Also, true to enter for this level is 35,000 studs. So, what you want to do now is just basically go around the room smashing everything so that you can get the true adventure if you, have, if you haven't already got it. Um. So, once you've got your true adventure reward, then... Then it's time to get on with the rest of it. The purple stud right here next to the dancing trooper brawlers, by the way. So what you want to do is switch to the uh, bazooka trooper and fire two rockets at these individual metal barrels to the two sides, right here. No. Then move these barrels to the end of the checkered tiles, connecting them to the rest of the barrels. So then what you want to do is fire the bazooka at the, this metal chain suspending a barrel. When it falls, assemble the pieces into a button. And since I'm already standing on the button, it'll activate- it'll begin pumping water through these hoses and put out the fire on the steps to the right. With the flames extinguished, head up to the steps to pick up the artifact and complete the level. And that is Toasty Tavern done! In under four minutes. But we're not done yet because Cairo Conundrum you need two characters that are way out there to collect. One, because since we're starting to explore the open world of Raiders of the Lost Ark, we're going to need to go far out. We're going to need to swim out to the Divine Beyond to gather a Hovito's tribesman and Belloc in his priest uniform. The thing with Belloc is that it's not a character you can just simply, you know, buy. You have to do a little something extra. And by a little something extra, remember Dovchenko from Kingdom of Crystal Skull Part 2? Remember what we had to do to him? We had to dig him up and build him back up again. Well, since Belloc's kind of dead, we have to rebuild him from scratch. Including his scepter. So now we gotta fight him down. Shouldn't take too long. And then purchase him for 250,000 studs. And that is going to do it for this episode of the LEGO and Neo Jones 2 Adventure Continues 100% walkthrough. Next time around for you guys, we will be taking on Cairo Conundrum, and for me, I will be taking on the Hovito's Temple, going way out of order. So, 
I would like to thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, then why not subscribe to stay updated for all content, previous, current, and upcoming. And other than that, guys, I have been Gaming Mentor 13, signing off saying, hope you have a fantastic Oracle day, and I will catch you all next time for some more LEGO Ninja Jones 2, the adventure continues, 100% walkthrough. Goodbye!